For a positive number a, i of a equals the integral from 0 to a of 4 minus 2 to the x squared dx. Then di dA equals 0 when a equals which of these four values? This was taken from a past paper of the Oxford University Maths Admissions Test. It looks quite tricky, but in actuality, it's not too bad when we notice this nice trick. We're being asked to differentiate an integral, and this should remind us of the fundamental theorem of calculus, or at least one of the fundamental theorems of calculus. And this says that if you are differentiating with respect to t, the integral from any number, doesn't have to be naught, but any number that we call it t naught, up to t of f of x dx, then this equals f of t, just like so. Um, so how can we see this? I think it's probably best uh, illustrated with an example. If I'm integrating, let's say, from some number t naught, which is a constant, up to the variable t of, let's say, I know, x cubed dx. Well, if I integrate x cubed, that's just going to be a quarter x to the 4 between t and t naught, and that's going to be a quarter t to the 4 minus a quarter t naught to the 4. Now, if I express, uh, if I differentiate that expression with respect to t, if I differentiate this um, to a quarter t to the 4 minus a quarter t naught to the 4, if I differentiate that with respect to t, I just get t cubed again, uh, which is essentially what my input function was, just replacing the x with t. And that's essentially what this guy here says. So we can now apply that, that, that rule over here. When we differentiate i of a with respect to a, it's the integral from 0 to a, so of some function of x. So this i of a, or i prime of a, I should say, when we differentiate it, that's simply going to be equal 4 minus 2 to the a squared. And we want to know when is that 0. So 4 minus 2 to the a squared is 0. That just means that a squared must be 2. And since uh, a is a positive number, this must mean that a equals root 2, and the answer is b.